still should have. This dancers is bad! So you guys have been tasked to prepare a Chinese New Year's Day book for this. <gasps> it's another cooking episode! Oh my gosh, I love cooking eh! You know, I'm always very jealous when you get to do ebook cooks. Thank you, thank you for casting me. I think you want to say you support. love cooking with me. I'm the better chef. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, YouTube comments, oh my god, I'm scared. Is it talking about your hair again? <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to my hairstylist. <laughs> hush, 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 hush. Can y'all make a like zero waste episode or at least like metal straws? Bring your own tapa box. Eh, hey, I got what? Day two lunchtime. Wow. So according to these comments, I got a feeling that this is gonna be a zero waste episode. Am I right? Yes. Oh, GG. Wow. wow, zero waste? <laughs> How to? Do a zero waste steamboat. Hey, there's nothing on the internet. We need to do like a lot of like nose to tail. <laughs> Trying to figure it out. Maybe we need to go down to the <laughs> store to figure out. Looks see, looks see, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. come. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Okay. So I've got a shopping list here and there are many items we have to buy today. Oh, quite a lot actually. Wow, it got tea pounds on Wow, well, well. I cannot feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, eh, hey, maybe we buy and cook in that. How about that? Uh... We must get Fanta. Oh yeah. Always to what? Ah. <laughs> Wow, save 11%, 150 per bottle. Hey, we get so many drinks, confirm lose ah, what zero waste? Hey, you see properly, there's a recycling label over there. You know, you know, you know, oh recy my god, it's recyclable? You mean you know, you recycle things? I, I, I know. Okay, we need to get some goods for the office people also, yeah, because we like to have a good party, a good time. Right. Let's try to get a uh, locally sourced or at least from Malaysia. Mm. So we get the carbon footprint as well. So. Come on, come on, come on. We need to look for places that are closer. I saw a Malaysia one just now. What's yeah? We can recycle the, uh, the tray later. Yeah. yeah, I think we can add zucchini and cucumber, right? Yeah, oak cucumber will be good. Gives okay. a lot of flavor to the soup. We can add a giant one. Uh. I think that looks good. Giant one, add giant. <laughs> oh, yeah, this mean spot. Uh, can you put it in half? Can you buy a bike Ha ha ha! We got everything on the list except for one item. There you go. Thank you. Okay, now that we got the abalone, let's go make our payment over there. Thank you so much. Okay, thank wow, you. Still got home from home. Yes, there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Grocery shopping is fun but tiring. But I can't wait to cook! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're back from Giant and Sufon. Are you willing to start on our zero waste prepping for Steamboat? Do we have a lot of time? We need around two hours. But if you can help me, we can do it, man. Can, can. Yes, right. chef! Let's go. Alright, so here are the ingredients for our chicken broth. The first and most important ingredient is the chicken, of course. We're going to try and minimize food waste as much as possible. So we're going to use the whole chicken. So we're just going to portion it out into different pieces. I'm not going to cut through bone. I'm going to cut through the tendons instead. Yeah, so it's very clean cut. There's no blood when I cut through. We can save the skin, so we'll put it in another bowl here. And this bowl will be used for our chicken meat later. Yeah, so because of our zero waste challenge, we are using all of the chicken. And with the chicken, I'm just going to cut into small pieces. So i put it inside the, the meat bowl later. So that my machine can cut properly. Alright, so we're gonna get started with cutting our onion, celery and carrots. They're gonna give loads of flavor to our broth. And there's no need to be fancy or what. We're just gonna cut it in rough pieces and leave the peel on, that's fine. Yeah, I just wanna try. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Do it, then then the then, 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 then. the lines. Once you're done cutting the vegetables and deboning the chicken, mm -hmm. you're ready to combine them to make the stock. Now it's uh, it's quite simple really. You're just gonna dump it all inside in cold water. Because if you put boiling water, the scum, the protein will all go up and that makes it very cloudy and not very pure or strong. Not gonna touch you! Woo! <laughs> and then we're just gonna top out with a bit more water till it fills to the brim. We bring it to a boil first, and then we will simmer it for about an hour for all the flavours to come out. <laughs> the garlic from what ya? Yeah, I can put down still, don't worry. <laughs> 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 
just want to break it all up. Nice, Alright, so now we're gonna take away the scum. You just wanna slowly move the ladle down so you get the impurities. You don't wanna scoop the, the whole soup, but just the impurities. As it cooks, you're gonna stir it occasionally, spread the heat around. We're gonna let boil this for one hour. Okay, while we let the chicken stock boil, let's start off with all the meatballs we have. And this is your chicken ball recipe, right? Yes, the recipe is really simple. We're gonna start off with the chop up chicken that we have, some ice water, white pepper, sesame oil and light soy sauce. Are we going to use a blender or going to hand chop? Nah, it's not going to use the food processor. Oh. I think it will take ages for you to. And for the next one, it's a pork ball. This is a very simple home style recipe. Minced pork, egg to bind everything together, soy sauce for flavour, sesame oil for a nice kiss of nuttiness, and a bit of pepper for some spiciness. Okay, now we have all the ingredients prepped up. I'm going to start with my pork balls. I just have to dump all the ingredients you prepared into this, mm. mix it with my fingers of love, and then put it into balls. What about you? Nice. Well, it's going to be a bit more complicated. I'm just going to grind it all into a nice mixture with the water. And then I'll mix all the flavouring ingredients. Then I'll wait for half an hour for the things to resettle down before I start rolling them into balls as well. Your egg, what are going to do with shells? Ah? My shells? Uh, good question. I know, Maverick, you got Orchid Farm, right? We yeah. will tap out it nicely for you to bring home to use as fertiliser. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> I'm not ready, but now I am. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, work it in. Wow, this is a sensory experience. Woo! It's all in the mind, it's all in the mind, Kara, it's all in the mind. Is this just food they're gonna put your stomach later? And we're done! Right, we're going to pop them in the freezer for at least half an hour for them to firm up. Okay, the oh chicken goodness. stock is done. If you take a look at the colour, it's a bit darker. Can I just say it looks damn legit? I didn't know a good stock like that is made out of just chicken bones and vegetables. Yeah. So we haven't seasoned it yet. So we're going to season it now. We're going to give it a good, nice mix. Oh, nice eh? Okay, let's get this out of the way. I want to make my prawn paste. Alright, the first ingredient we're gonna use is uh, onion and also ginger and we're gonna cook it together with the prawns and then add the soup from the chicken stock which mm. we made so nicely and also some garlic. If you wanna do it at home and you don't happen to be making the chicken stock in the first place, you can use the normal regular chicken stock that you buy from the store but we find that you know, if you make your own chicken stock, it's not only nicer but so healthier as well. Alright, so now we're gonna dish out the prawns. Is it a competition? No lah, don't, don't <laughs> anything compete lah. <laughs> And guys, we're using premium tiger prawns here because it's Chinese New Year. Yeah. It's good to splurge a little. Actually, it was a good price also. So Kiara, I so generously wanted to wash the dishes. And I'm going to work on this onion brulee. All you got to do is just put the onion inside. Switch on the fire. And then wait for 10 minutes. Don't move it. That's what we're looking for, this really intense dark colour. And this is really going to give all that flavour into the soup. First up, we're going to heat up a soup pot till it gets nice and hot. And then we're going to add a generous amount of oil and also add in our sliced ginger. We're going to cook it around till it stays nice and sweated. Then we're going to add in the prawn heads and shells. Now this is where you get all the rich, strong flavours for your prawn soup. Once the prawn is cooked to a nice, bright orange, we're going to add in 2 litres of chicken broth that we have reserved. Pop in the onion boule, leave it to boil for around 30 minutes, and then the soup is good to go. Oh, the garlic. <laughs> so fun! Uh, you forgot the garlic again? Eh, no, huh? So for the prawn paste, right, it's really inspired by the trips I take to Hai Ti Lao. What I do is, you chop up one third of the prawns, and then the remaining two thirds, you just mince it up. And then followed by binders such as cornstarch and egg white, ginger and Chinese wine to kill a bit of the fishy taste that you might get from prawns, salt and pepper for seasoning. That's it! She sounds like a nice recipe, where do you find it? Online ah. <laughs> oh, you thought it's your family recipe. Yay! Okay, so for now, you are the sous chef. Yes, chef! <laughs> Okay, so I'll just grab one third to give you and then you just help me chop it up. Right, rough then, chop, yeah? Yeah. Chef. <laughs> wow, that feels uncomfortable. And then I'll just mince the rest. Eh, how mince ah? Hey, no Wow, sounds impressive. <laughs> Oh 
Okay, let me your knife for a while, please. <laughs> Reversal! While Sufon is washing up, I'm gonna put all the remaining ingredients into this bowl and then give it a nice mix. My very first prawn paste! Okay, wow! And the prawn soup is actually done right now. And the colour as well, you can see that it gets a very nice, deep and dark, rich colour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna filter them and yeah! We actually can eat right now. Already. Yeah, so basically, Super and I we bought everything on the table from Giant, and then we cooked a lot of things. Actually, everything from scratch. So there's no like plastic from the fish ball packet. So are y'all ready, guys? Yes. Okay, then let's wait. <laughs> That's not all, okay? We're gonna have some PA tricks by Sufon. So I come know? pass the pao yu, pass the abalone. <laughs> Why it was a great success? Like, look, we have zero waste in front of us. You sure zero waste? <laughs> hey, check out all these waste, man. Hey, not all are waste, okay? These aluminum cans can be recycled. These bottles also, and I can reuse these for my eye and crop. Let's not forget about the vegetable trimmings and the eggshells. Those food waste are actually thrown into Maverick's orchid farm. Okay, so these are the root ends of the vegetables that we didn't use. And these are the eggshells. Oops. Spread it. Ta da! If you want to recycle all these food containers, you actually have to get rid of any food remnants. If not, it's not recyclable. Mm. But I find that we did a pretty good job considering that every time I hold a party at my house, right, I use about one to two big trash bags. One to two bags. Yeah. <laughs> but look at the waste in front of us. That's considerably really low. Good job. Good job. Yeah, I think it was quite interesting. We came up with a lot of uh, interesting recipes. <laughs> yeah. I think Kiara, I really like her pom paste as well. Yeah. So. I'm gonna say some wabi sabi shit again. And someone's gonna scold me. <laughs> <laughs> Saving the environment is just like in a relationship. You take, but you also need to put effort to give. <laughs> so I took from the environment <laughs> a lot. I feel like I, it is only right that I take effort to give back to the environment. I think that's a very impressive speech. <laughs> I think uh, Kiara summed it up really well actually. I think one of the few wise words that Kiara has really. Few wise words, <laughs> hello! <laughs> yeah. I think for me, uh, zero waste is an extremely difficult thing to do. But I think it's all about putting in the effort from the shopping part to the cooking part then to the recycling part. Look at that price point, I think we spent about $18 per person. But that includes uh, beer for almost everyone. Uh, abalone mm. and so most important thing is so the stocks are all homemade so there's no MSG you know yeah I think for the price we are paying at Jai you know, it's really affordable it's really great and the freshness as well is pretty good so the tiger prawns right? Mm, I really like tiger prawns Giant's a place where things are cheaper or like more value for money and they have everything so if you haven't done a Chinese New Year shopping you can head down to Giant to get your festive goodies and ingredients to prepare a feast for you and your family mm. thank you for watching this episode of Eat Book Cooks if you love this kind of video you can catch more over there and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Bye. Happy, Happy Chinese